One of the most sought after features within Qualaroo is the ability to have a survey fire when a visitor is about to exit the website. In this video, we'll cover some of the top uses for our exit survey feature. If you've just started a trial, you do get access to this feature. This option can be found within the targeting section for your survey under the When Should This Survey Be Displayed area. To enable this option, click the radio button next to when it looks like the user is about to abandon the page. One of our most popular use cases is great for e-commerce sites, asking customers why they're leaving without making a purchase. If people have the ability to make a purchase on your site, a good place to start would be to survey those who are abandoning their shopping cart. To create this survey, we recommend asking if you don't plan to make a purchase, can you tell us why not? Have a few answer options and at least one option that says other that allows for a write-in. If you're looking for ideas on answer options, price and shipment cost tend to be good safe options to start out with. But as you start seeing write-ins to the other option, you can iterate on your survey to include those answers as well. Now that we have the content for our survey, we need to target it to the best group to respond. Under the Where Should This Survey Appear section, you want to make sure to only target your shopping cart. Then make sure to select the page abandonment setting. Another trick is once you start seeing common responses, you can actually use Qualaroo to try and convert people before they leave. The ability to add multiple message screens enables you to show specific messages based on how that visitor responds, messages that can entice that visitor to complete their purchase. This second example is perfect for SaaS businesses. If you have a pricing page, this is a great opportunity to investigate why people leave this section of your site without starting a trial or requesting a demo. Start by asking, do you plan to start a trial with yes or no as the answer options. The no option should ask the follow-up question, why not, using the text-based answer type. Once you start seeing a fair amount of answers to the follow-up question, you can make a new version of the survey to ask, if you don't plan to start a trial, can you tell us why not, with the answer options being the most common reasons you saw in the first version. To target this survey, only focus on your pricing page and use the page abandonment option. If you want to focus on people who might be seriously considering starting a trial, only focus on returning visitors. I also really like to balance these surveys by asking the group who did just sign up for a trial. That way, I get a clear picture behind why people decide to leave and what drives them to stay and sign up. This is also a really good opportunity to use our identity feature, which allows you to target people who are logged in. This option is especially powerful since we expose their identity information in the individual response for the survey. This next example can be used regardless of what your website is for. Every site has at least one page with a high bounce rate, and this survey is perfect for figuring out why that is. The best question to ask for this example has to do with meeting expectations. You want to ask, did this page meet your expectations, with yes or no as the answer options. No should branch to the follow-up question, what did you expect to find on this page? To target this survey, you first need to know the pages with the highest bounce rate. If you want to target three pages, for example, you can use a regular expression for that. Next, under Target by Behavior, select the Referring Domain option, choose Is Not from the dropdown, and then enter in your site information. This will focus on the group that's coming from any outside source beyond just people who are coming from search. Finally, select the Page Abandonment option. After you start getting responses, look at the referring data of where someone came from initially and compare it to how they answered the question. The ads and links that people click on from these other sites generally give the visitor a sense of what to expect. So if the response indicates that those expectations were not met, it's a good time to revisit those ads in order to better meet visitor expectations. This final example is also great for just about any site and allows you to opt visitors into a site experience survey that they'll only see at the end of their session. This particular example requires two surveys. The first one is the opt-in survey a visitor sees when they first enter your site. Ask, are you willing to answer three questions at the end of your site visit with yes or no as the answer options? Depending on the actual site experience survey, you're welcome to adjust the amount of questions you want to ask your visitors, but we recommend not asking more than three. If someone selects yes, they should see a message that indicates they'll see a survey before they attempt to leave the site. To target this survey, you can target it to only your home page. If you also want to include landing pages, target your entire site and focus on outside traffic via the referring domain targeting option. Set the survey on either a two or three second delay. The next piece of information is needed to make sure that only those that opted in will see our site experience survey. Click on the third party cookies option and click on the checkbox to enable this integration. If you aren't able to use this option, you're welcome to contact sales to demo our enterprise plan. Copy and save the cookie information next to the yes answer and save the changes for your survey. Now we can begin working on our site experience survey. 
The question I like to start with asks, how would you rate the overall experience with your site today using the scale answer type? The next question asks, what did you come to the site to do with the text-based answer option? And the final question asks, were you able to do it successfully with yes easily, yes eventually, and no, I still need help as the answer options. Make sure to target the entire site and then click on the advanced targeting options to target the cookie from our first survey. Make sure to finish with the page abandonment option. If you're not able to target by cookies, you're welcome to contact sales to get a free trial of our enterprise plan. I hope these exit survey ideas help you on your way to learning a lot more about your site visitors. But keep in mind these recipe ideas are just a general guide. If you have an idea for your survey that doesn't quite fit the model we've discussed, the success team is here to help. We can be reached at support at Thanks again and happy surveying!